Hey guys, welcome back to Art Like Heart. Today, I spent so much money. I have two different art stores in my town, and one of them, well, one of them is um, an art store, and the other one is a scrapbooking slash craft store, and they're both just privately owned. They're not part of a chain or anything, and the scrapbooking store is going out of business. And I'm really sad that it's closing um, because at my scrapbooking shop, they had Copic refills. Um, not just that you could buy the refills, you could go and buy the actual refills, but you could take your Copic marker to them and for a dollar, they refill it, which is awesome because sometimes you use a color but not enough to really want to buy a full refill because your refill is going to refill it like 15 times. So you might just need a little refill so for a dollar, you don't have to go out and buy a whole refill. You can just get a refill. Anyway, so that's not going to be an option anymore. But on the plus side, I guess, <laughs> it is a plus side. It is a plus side. They uh, decided to put everything on sale, so everything was 50% off. So excited, but still so expensive. <laughs> so I thought I would do an art haul and show you what I bought. And also let you know the tools that I use to help me keep track of what markers I have and which markers I need and all that good stuff. So let's get started. And also I apologize for the rain pounding on outside. We're having a little bit of a storm and it is coming down like crazy. So about 17 markers and 27 refills. And grand total, all of this would have been over $400, um, but because it was 50% off, I got it for $200. I also got a couple miscellaneous things. So I got some little plastic pipettes. I got, I think, two of these little spritzers. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but I really like, I have one of them and I really like it, so. I also bought three Distress inks, which I've never played with, but I've always wanted to, so I bought three of them. So they're originally $5 a piece, so I got them for, for $2.50 each. And the rest is Copic markers. Let's organize. So there's my refills. I don't even know how I'm gonna store these. So there's the refills. So let's quickly look and see what new markers I got and fill in our marker charts. Okay, so let's do reds first. It's so funny because I just did a marker tour where I took you through every single Copic marker I have. So this is like tour part two, I guess. So if you wanna see the first tour of the markers that I already have, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. But So first I got R37 Carmine, R85, which is rose red, R21, which is sardonyx, R39 Garnet, R27 Cadmium Red, and R56, which is current. Then I also got RV93, which is a smoky purple. Okay, so then I got some new E's. First I got E04, which is a lipstick natural. E74, which is a cocoa brown. E51, which is a milky white. E79 Cashew. And then this R snuck in here, so R01, which is pinkish vanilla. I got YG91, which is putty, and YG63, which is pea green. What's an appetizing name? So for blues, I got B45, smoky blue, and B99 with agate. And then last but not least, I got BG49, which is duck blue. Okay, so those are the new markers that I got. So for the refills, I went through and I kind of kept track of ones that I've had to refill, 
ones that I use a lot and ones that I knew I was running short of. Because it was such an amazing sale, I wasn't able to get all the ones that I really, really wanted. So I just stocked up on as many as I could think of. So I'm not going to read them all off because I already have all the colors. But what I will tell you is I'm going to go ahead and put some sort of mark by each color to let me know that I have a refill. That way if I come across another sale, I can easily check my chart and know which ones I already have refills for and which ones I could still get refills for. So one more thing I wanna talk about is tools that I used to take with me um, when I went. First I took and so first I took and made a list of the refills that I really wanted on this side. And then I made a wish list of markers that I wanted. So I had that with me. One way that I create my wish list is by watching other artists use their Copic markers. And if there's a marker that they really like or recommend or that I see that I really like, I make a little dot on my chart. So you'll see that some of these have little dots by them. That just lets me know that, hey, if I ever find that color, I'm interested in buying it. So that's one way, an easy way to keep a wish list. So I took this with me and it was really nice too because I could kind of test out some of the colors. And some of them, like these three colors here, were very similar. I mean, they're different, but I decided instead of buying all three of them, I buy the darkest and the medium one because I could do this, I could still gradient it out. So you can kind of test it out. Having a little paper like that works. And you can see I went through a lot of pinks that were very similar. Bringing your chart is also I highly recommend, in fact, I really wish I would have brought this chart with me. This is the one I would have wanted to bring, which is the hex chart, which doesn't separate them by color family groups. It actually separates them and combines them with similarity colors. So colors that are the same are going to be closer together. And that will help me to determine, do I have a shade that's similar to that shade already? And there were several that um, probably when I put it on here are going to be very similar. Like down here, these two colors are these these three colors here are almost exactly the same. They're different enough to actually be different, but I could get away with just one of these markers and I would have been freed up to buy two different other markers. So having something like this hex chart would really be helpful. But what I did bring with me was an app that I have on my phone. It's a free app. It's called, I think, called Copic. I think it's called the Copic app. I'm not sure. If you just search Copic, you'll find it. But it allows you to select any marker in here in your in your collection and it lets you you know so you can actually take your your list of your collection with you you kind of see them um, which is really nice so I had that so I was able to go back and double check to see which markers I have you can also go through and actually see I don't know if it shows you very well like what the marker looks like so you can actually select a marker and it will show you an actual picture of the marker on paper that one doesn't show it very well there. So you can see with one swipe of it, if you double it and if you triple it, how dark that mar one marker will be. So that's a really helpful thing too. So now I'm going to try to organize all my markers and figure out how they're going to fit in my studio and all that good stuff. But I just wanted to show you my fun little marker haul and share some tips that I had um, and share a couple of tips with you guys. So again, I love finding out what your guys' favorite markers are. So if you have a favorite color of marker, let me know in the comment section below. I'll put it on my wish list um, as I continue my quest to catch them all. And now, the refill. Because my refill place is going out of business. I'm so sad. Okay, bye. God bless you guys. See you later. Bye.